What's happening? I'm John Walborn. I'm here to talk to you guys a little bit about training and more importantly working with the amateur athlete or even just kids in high school that are coming in and uh, what program they need and most importantly what dose is effective to help them drive adaptation and hopefully get them in a position to go on and play after that. Be healthy, strong, happy, successful and have a great experience playing football or whatever sport they're using it for. If we can catch the athlete at the right point, at the right time in their life, there is no limit to what they will accomplish. Contrary to what a lot of coaches believe, percentages are worthless for beginners. The reason being is that uh, percentages are based off of a one rep max. And the one thing that a beginner doesn't have is a one rep max. So what we do is we bring in our athletes, we have them work up to something fairly challenging, it doesn't even matter what the number is, because what we're effectively going to do is every workout we're going to add weight to the bar, and we will eventually get to where we need to go by just doing just a basic small linear progression. Because they have an untapped, untrained central nervous system and they're really working with this thing known as uh, intra and also intermuscular coordination, we can start really cheating the system and start packing weight on and really start moving. Here we'll go over a little bit about our bedrock program and really how it kind of fits. Uh, I, you know, from the time I grew up uh, training George Angus's garage, he had a rule that the first lift of the week always had to involve a heavy barbell on your back. So we really start here with uh, just a basic squat, um, which is our you know, bilateral hip hinge, x-axis, which is really our foundation or the cornerstone of any good training program. And then obviously a vertical press. So I started breaking things up into a, pre into a push and a pull. It's interesting how we got into our you know, sets and volume and really our reps. For the majority of people, uh, a five rep max is somewhere going to be around 85 to 90 percent, which is really uh, uh, the sweet spot for strength development. And we found that actually three sets of five of working sets at 15 reps per movement, and we push the volume uh, past that 15 kind of reps uh, per workout per movement, all of a sudden people didn't progress as fast. And that was just kind of our, you know, having tested a million different rep ranges, different volumes, different sets, different athletes, that if we were able to hit these roughly 30, 30 reps a day, athletes were able to continue to add weight to the bar each time they came in. If you think about the balancing of volume and intensity, it's, a, it's like a symphony in a lot of ways. And people have this idea that, you know, uh, volume, 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 but for a young athlete, volume is so much more damaging. What we do is I really limit movement selection for beginners. What I'm really looking for is neural efficiency, that, intra, that idea of uh, intra and intramuscular coordination. And I want to have my athletes have you know, great proficiency at just a single set of movements. I want you just to do five basic lifts. It's going to be a, a squat, a press, uh, a bench, a deadlift, and a clean. And then once they get through their amateur progression, the bedrock program, all of a sudden now we'll start adding more and more. Uh, movements to the deal. The one thing that we've seen where a lot of coaches stumble is they start throwing too much at beginners. The reason that we start changing and really offering different movement patterns is this idea is that you can still train at a high rate and avoid accommodation, but we got to get to a point where somebody actually has to accommodate before we start trying to do it.